It was a very special game. Not everyone gets to take part in an outdoor game like that. And um, you know, a week before, I wasn't even thinking about the game. I was still, uh, you know, in St. John's, and then to get the call up and to, to play in that game was uh, was pretty awesome. You grew up, grew up on the West Island, Kirkland, right? Yeah. You were a big Habs fan, I guess. Yeah, you? yeah. Uh, I was. Did you have a favorite player on the Habs? Uh, actually, Mar Markov was my favorite growing oh, really? up. Yeah, yeah. I always liked the, the you know, the way he played. Always was smart. Uh, was like always made great plays with the puck. So he, he was always uh, one guy. I always looked at when uh, while I was growing up. No, I haven't told him. I just, you know, now that you're your teammates with the guy, you just it's you know that's in the past. <laughs> has he uh, has he helped you, or how how were the veteran guys? Some of the guys who let you adjust the room. I, mean, I know you're a veteran NHL player, but just getting used to a new environment. Yeah, the the guys are really welcoming, and uh, you know, I, before signing here, I, I heard that the room was a really tight room, and guys were really uh, close and. Uh, as soon as I got called up, uh, I saw that. Well, I saw it in training camp, and even this week, I've noticed that it's a very close group and a uh, very welcoming group, so it's very nice to be a part of. I know there's been so many guys called up from St. John's, and it seems like with this team, if you play well down there, you're going to get a chance no matter whether you were drafted, undrafted, whatever. Is that a message that sort of got through in the room there? Yeah, yeah, for sure. They, uh, you know, the, Like you said, if, if you're playing well and you, you deserve a call up, they'll, they'll give it to you, and uh, and it's nice because they got guys like uh, Rob Ramage and Martin LaPointe that come down. Uh, pretty often and uh, you know talk to you so it's nice that you get that feedback from uh, from the development coaches. Okay. Sven Andrigetto mentioned earlier that you were one of the leaders down there that he sort of looked up to. Was that part of the role when you were signed with the Canadians? Is that something that they spoke to you about? Or for some of the younger guys? When, uh, when, when I got sent to, to St. John's and I first met with uh, Sylvain Lefebvre he told me that uh, you know the, because of my experience in pro hockey and my uh, you know experience having won a Calder Cup he said that you're, you're gonna be looked at as a leader on this team and he told me that day also that he was gonna give me an A on my jersey, which uh, I thought was very special, and I, I uh, you know, I, I, I wanted to be a leader for because I know we have a really young team in St. John's, and I, I still consider myself pretty young. But it's funny how that happens. You know, within a few years, you become, I guess, one of the older guys. But, uh, but yeah, that was definitely a, a goal of mine is to just not not necessarily be a big talker, but just you know, show the right example and uh, how to be a pro. The first game in a Habs uniform, where you're pinching yourself a little bit. Yeah, it was it was amazing. Like, I. <laughs> It's hard to describe. It was it was just so cool, and I'm thinking about like you know my, my family too. How, how proud I know they they were that uh, they got to see you know one of their family members or their son play play for the Canadians.